Hi guys, Hagdwatt Jen here. Today I want to talk to you about the game Lifeboat by Guerrilla Games. Now, Lifeboat is a tabletop game for four to six players, ages 13 and up. And I played this a couple of times, having got it for my birthday in October. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about it because I really, really enjoy it. Now it starts by everyone being assigned a character and popped on a boat. You are now on a lifeboat for the game. Everyone is then given a love and hate card. This is the person that you love and the person that you hate. The person that you love you want to keep alive if they're kept alive you get more points if you kill the person who you hate you get more points really simple but the crux of the game is no one knows who everyone loves and hates so it's kind of a secret tactic secret motive throughout the whole of the game to keep people alive or dead now the way that you kill people is through fighting now fights can only be started if you want to switch places with a player or steal a card from them um, apart from special abilities which I'll go into a bit later on. So you get little red tokens um, if you've been wounded from a fight and if your wounds exceed your size number um, you're dead. <laughs> um, if you're dead and off the boat that's you're out of the game. Now the next step I want to talk to you about are provision cards. They're really quite important because they are uh, divvied up at the start of every round and the person at the head of the boat gets first choice. So in the game I'm showing you at the moment there are six players um, and the uh, person at the front, Lady Lauren, gets to pick up six cards, choose the best one, and then hands it on to Sir Stephen, who gets to choose from the five cards, and so on and so forth. And the kid, who's usually at the back of the boat, doesn't get a choice at all, and they normally end up with lots of water or bundles of cash worth only one point. Now, don't worry though, the person at the back of the boat, usually the kid, does get a pretty cool ability. Um, so they are to do with navigation cards. So how navigation works is the person at the back of the boat, I will call the kid for this scenario, um, gets to choose from a smaller pile of navigation cards which one is going to be played. Now the way that uh, this small pile of cards is um, made up is through anyone who has rowed. So in this sort of scenario, us as Sir Stephen has rowed, um, we ch when you row you get to choose between two cards um, and obviously I um, in this scenario chose one that wasn't going to affect Sir Stephen which makes sense you can see on um, the cards that there's an overboard a thirsty and some other pointers too now Frenchie has also rode um, at this moment <laughs> and uh, just for this scenario the kid would definitely not choose this but for this scenario we're gonna say that the kid has chosen the card that I'm showing you now now on this card uh, the kid has gone overboard, which means unless they have a pr life preserver, they get one wound. So basically what happens uh, would be that the kid would get chucked off board, get uh, a wound of some sort by the impact, and then able to swim back. Then you can see, working our way down the card, there is a bird symbol. Now, if you get four bird symbols throughout the whole course of the game, that's the end of the game, you have reached land. So this means that you are one step closer to land. Then um, you can see in the bottom left corner that uh, there is a fighting symbol. So this means that anyone who has fought in the scenario, um, as you can see it's the first mate and the captain, will get an extra thirst. Now the other symbol in the bottom right hand corner is everyone who has rowed um, gets a thirst as well. And um, in the main section, Everyone except Lady Lauren gets thirsty. So this is actually a pretty intense card. They aren't normally this intense, but I just wanted to show you all the different options that happen. So obviously Lady Lauren would probably choose this card in the scenario as she doesn't get wounded at all, but kills everyone else and stays pretty safe. No one knows who she hates kind of thing. Uh, possibly the kid, but you wouldn't know really from this card. So I'm now showing you how this scenario would end up. As you can see, loads of wounds were dulled out. Uh, the kid is actually unconscious because they've got the number of wounds equal to their size. Um, they can be healed using a medical kit, um, which anyone can give them or they can give themselves. Um, but that's kind of another element where um, uh, items can get passed around for different deals if you wish to make them. Now, getting to the point of this video, why I like Lifeboat. Now, I'm going to start off by saying that Lifeboat itself comes in an incredibly small box. You can see this is this is the whole game. Because it's just a card game, it can be um, kind of transported around really easily. You can even take it on holiday. Um, I've taken it. Well, I had it at university. I'm going to take it back to university because it's so small. Um, it's really easy to use and it's like a great almost party game. Not quite, but um, great game 
to kind of get involved with a really nice group of people. Now the main reason why I like this game is because a lot of talking happens. You talk all the time, you're making deals, say hey, can I switch places with you? Hey, can I have that card please? Um, and normally someone will say no and then there's a fight and then teams form or don't form, deals happen, don't happen. <laughs> it was great. There was one scenario where um, a friend of mine who was the kid um, wanted to get someone else on their team to defend themselves in a fight. And they were saying, hey, because I'm the kid, I have loads of water and I can see you're getting really, really wounded. And I'm gonna guess you don't have that much water, so I will give you a water if you're on my team. Now that person accepted and it was hilarious because the fight happened, the kid's team won, um, and oh, it was great because then the person who made that deal said, hey, can I have my water please? And the person who was playing the kid just said, nope, nope, not at all. And that was it, it was hilarious. I knew that was gonna happen. I could see that was gonna happen, but they didn't listen to me. <laughs> um, no, it was great fun, it was really funny. Um, but loads of little things like that happen and that's just in like one fight. That's not even the end of the round. It's maybe the end of one person's turn, but as you can see in this scenario, there are six people, so there's six turns per round. Um, so it actually is quite a long game even though the box says an hour i haven't been able to play it in less than two hours um but i think that's good because my group of friends is really like a, a chatty kind of group where everyone just like wants to talk it out and understand what's going on another point i'd like to make is that the characters are really fun um you've been able to see from the photos that they've got like some really quirky um images um little sayings on the bottom of the cards but also um they have their own special abilities which kind of adds to their whole character um, and they're, they're just really fun and playable you can make loads of jokes about Sir Stephen hating his wife Lady Lauren and there's gonna be a divorce and things like that you can make loads of jokes around it and it's like a really nice added touch to the game now the worst experience for me was when I played the kid and I loved myself now the kid has the lowest size but the highest survivability and if you survive you get the uh, that survivability points which is nine the highest one and obviously if I loved myself you'd get double that straight away you'd get 18 points um, so obviously that's a lot of points um, so it would have been great if I survived but that means no one was protecting me and being the kid of a size three it's quite easy to lose a fight <laughs> so you just have to keep giving all your cards away or changing places with people if you don't want to fight which you probably don't um and then um i hated someone but it didn't really make any difference and everyone eventually at the end of the game nearer the end of the game worked out that i loved myself and they were like no we've got to kill the kid the kid has to go um because they knew obviously i would win if i survived and i was really happy that i was able to keep it hidden that long but i did get screwed over so i think I think like all of these games with like hidden elements to it, it is really easy to get screwed over um, and it's normally me <laughs> who gets screwed over but no it's really fun, I still really enjoy the game even though I haven't won once, <laughs> um, it's, it's really good fun and I really would recommend it. So that's been my video for today, sorry if it's a little bit of a long one, um, I hope you're having a good time wherever you are in the world and looking forward to Christmas, oh my goodness it is nearly Christmas. I cannot wait. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you liked it, and of course subscribe if you want to see more videos from myself and Bex. And uh, Bex will see you in a week's time. I will see you in a fortnight's time. Aha! Thanks for watching. Bye!